Title, Tragic Tango, Motorcyclist and Cyclist Collide in Ironman Event, Sparking Safety Queries. TLDR. A motorcycle carrying a camera operator faced a head-on collision with a triathlete during the Ironman European Championship in Hamburg, Germany, resulting in a tragedy. The motorcyclist didn't survive the crash, while the 26-year-old triathlete and 50-year-old camera operator are being treated for severe injuries and shock, respectively. As details of the crash are uncovered, questions regarding race safety and regulations are popping up. Do we really take sport safety seriously, or are we just spectators waiting for the next crash? In an unforeseen event that shocked many, an Ironman European Championship turned into a scene of chaos when a motorcycle rider crashed into a triathlete during the race. The 70-year-old motorcyclist, carrying a camera operator for live coverage, lost his life at the spot. Talk about life being an unpredictable journey, huh? Now, here's where things get intense. The crash happened on a narrow part of the track, where both lanes were stuffed with competitors. Camera operators on motorcycles were riding down the center of the road, amidst all the competitors. What's wilder than a race? Apparently, filming it. Imagine tuning into the live coverage of a championship only to see a horrific accident right before the broadcaster interrupts the transmission. It sends chills down the spine, doesn't it? The cyclist, a 26-year-old triathlete, ended up with severe injuries while the 50-year-old camera operator went into shock and was taken to the hospital for treatment. This unfortunate event has left us pondering, in our thirst for action-packed coverage and thrilling sports, are we forgetting the basic rules of safety? Should we pause and ask ourselves if the rush of adrenaline is worth the risk? Isn't it high time we re-evaluate our safety norms and regulations in high-stakes sports events? Certainly, the thrill of extreme sports and races adds to their allure, but at what cost? When the hunger for thrilling moments overshadows safety precautions, maybe it's time to hit the brakes. This tragic incident has initiated a critical conversation around safety protocols in sports events. And rightfully so. Because, isn't it about time we prioritize the lives of our sportsmen, cameramen, and spectators over anything else? Is the price of a thrilling moment really worth risking a life? Are we going to wait for another tragedy to stir us into action, or are we going to take the necessary steps now? After all, aren't rules there for a reason? Or are they just an illusion of control, waiting to be shattered by the next tragic incident? Disclaimer, this article does not contain any recommendations or advice and is solely based on reporting of the incident. It's always best to consult with professionals for guidance in any related matters. What do you think, folks? Are we doing enough to ensure safety in such extreme sporting events? Or are we just turning a blind eye to the potential dangers?